Bezmo le mitsoi. What is that? So come so like I do not know how long after Valentine's yeah, I do not know how long after Valentine's. I'm that type of person. It's like me and my crush, uh, we always have like a mad friendship. It's like I like them, they probably know, but, but like I don't make them comfortable because like most things, like when they like someone, like they be back clean, they be acting weird. I'm like I just act normal because like if you can't act normal, if I'm having anything, that relationship ain't gonna work. So obviously, yeah, it's a, yeah. Like there was this one day at lunchtime. I think it was Wednesday because I Wednesdays we have some long ass breaks. Me and her was just walking, chilling, vibing, like walking around the school just the two of us. Like you know the most when you just in your crush, like just walking. Oof. But yeah, so yeah, it was just me walking, and then this nigga that like to cause trouble came because I still I remember like the week before, like me and my friends were gonna jump in. But we didn't because first of all it was on the year below. Second of all, it was free was one. So yeah, my friends. They had good heart. Cause if if depended on me, I would have jumped that nigga right on the spot. I don't Damn care. son. BJ is new. Yeah, so obviously, yeah, like like that nigga, like was just me and her. And the nigga obviously came like 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 she's up there like trying to flirt like I'm protecting you see that. In case you don't know I'm protective. If you haven't seen it, it's because I haven't really been put in a situation that I have to be protective. So <laughs> yeah, not underestimate me. But obviously, yeah, so like my guy comes, like let's say that's clipping. You just like out there trying to chill. She's like, oh so how's you? You good, yeah? Like like trying to flirt in but like, bro, you can't be doing anything, man. So obviously it was like, let's call that nigga D kid. Not D H cause. I don't get monetized, but let me not say so. Let's call that nigga DH. So obviously DH comes. I'm like, yo, bro, you can't be doing anything. You know, like, you can't see shit. Like, she ain't trying to chat to you. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, she was actually pretty you. Like, she ain't trying to chat to you. Like, my mama started to push me. So I pushed him back. I was like, you wanna go, you wanna right, go now? right now? You wanna go, you wanna go right, right now? now? And obviously, like, and obviously, Clipper was like, hey, wait, 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 hey, do, do not fight, do not fight. And she just like to the guy, go away, go away. So obviously, the guy went away. Surprisingly, yeah, the guy actually went away. Yeah, so I didn't think nothing much of it. So I didn't think much of it. Like, nothing much of it. And it's, uh, yeah, the guy went away. Then, yeah, after that day, yeah, we just like kept cooking and stuff. Hmm. But there was this one other day so little background story i used to play violin and like uh, the lessons used to be sometimes in the week but also on saturdays and sometimes sundays yeah that was in school mad so yeah for my violin lesson break it used to be like from 9 to like 2 p.m 9 a.m to like 2 p.m so Yeah, my phone will keep running out of storage and uh, I'm going to miss every one story, but yeah, so, back. So, <clears throat> violin lessons. Yeah, I used to have violin lessons, sometimes on the weekends and etc. And yeah, like, every, like, most people used to be people from our school. Like, people that, like, left and went to secondary school. She's from year 10 and above. So, yeah, so, obviously, we all knew each other and we all used to be friends and etc. And like, we all used to talk. And then Clipper's best friend, she used to also be part of the orchestra. She used to play... I do not know the name of the instrument in, in Portuguese, in English, because I learned them in Portuguese. So she used to play contrabaixo, which is this. Yeah, this. Yeah, so she used to play that instrument and etc. Like, we actually used to be pretty close. Yeah, that's why we used to be best friends. Let's call her. Oof. Uh, I don't want to say something that sounds like a name. Let's call her SP. <laughs> if you're not talking about you do. Yeah, no, no, let's call her spinner. Yeah, let's call her spinner. I do not own a Swedish spinner, it's something that only me. Man, 
being a videographer is not easy, bro. I've run out of storage twice. But yeah, so back to the story. So where was it? Oh, Kusha. Yeah, so what was her nickname again? Bruh. Spinner, yeah. So Spinner, yeah, she was she was like, yeah, Spinner, she was Clipper's best friend. So whenever I wanted inside information, I just ask Spinner, any so <laughs> you already know any so. Yeah, like me and Spinner, like we actually used to be quite close because she was that girl, she was really gullible, let's just say that. And I'm protective, even with my female friends. So niggas, they they see that they be like, <laughs> like you nigga, you touch that, <laughs> you touch that, you're gonna see that. Damn! So, yeah. Like nigga, you touch her, you're gonna meet Satan in the same. Yeah, so. yeah, back to you. So obviously, like. She used to tell me like everything I needed to know about her and like give me tips and stuff like that. At least I thought so. I just tips. I just clocks on you. Wait until the end of the video. Don't know what I clocked. Yeah, Spinner used to be Clipper's best friend, etc. And come, there was this other girl. Yeah, I'm just saying Anna because those are actually names. Yeah. Yeah, Anna. So there was this girl called Anna, and yeah, she also used to be friends with them because like she was older. So you know how girls they always go to other girls to for advice and stuff like that. So yeah, that was the case. So yeah, so obviously yeah, an orchestra like we were just chilling like on the same place. I was chilling because we were still in school, so the same place I was chilling in my break. And then Anna comes up to me like we all chilling. She's like, "Yo, Gomez, did you know the clip is eighteen D H?" I was like. What do you mean they're dating? She's like, like they're dating, they've been going out for like a month or that. And then wow. everything started to make sense. Everything started to make sense. Not really, cause like still, why would the nigga I'll always go to work with for the nigga to like him? He couldn't do shit in your other fuck anymore. And I oh Yeah, so yeah. Like everything started to make sense. And then after I just looked, I just looked at Spina, I was like, Yo Spina, how come you never told me this? Like, why is it I don't know this? I swear we were supposed to be best friends. <laughs> yeah, so after, like, Spina, like, she, mm, Spina, she tried to get up in deep, but was like, mm -mm. Come, she never told me that. Then she's like, oh, like she told me to not tell you. But this time everybody knew. But me and my friends, of course, because yeah, they lost the shit with her. And after that. Like to be fair, this makes sense because like they've known each other from, from yeah, they've known each other from younger. They came from the same primary, so yeah, he's in his fish. Uh so yeah, he's obviously tired. She choose her long term friend. The order they meet, that she just move like on you. Yeah, it's, it's normal, isn't it? It is what it is. Yeah, I, like I wasn't that mad, but it was just the fact that Spinner she kept leading man on when the whole time she was dating DH. And like after she just started making sense, cause like at lunchtime, like we used to go to this park near area, like. Like, she, like, her, like, there's this thing that everybody does, like, in secondary school. Like, 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 whenever you go out with your friends and there's two people that are dating, like, you leave them alone for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, stuff. So, yeah, that used to happen a lot. I used to see them, like, like flirting and anybody. Like, I never thought much of it. But the whole time they were dating, it was like, wait, she's dating an up. And she's making me look like a dickhead. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Like, I never felt so violated. After that, it's like... I'm not gonna say that I hated the nigga, but until up to this day, I still don't like him. I go push, you go, we see each other, we give each other dirty looks. So. Yeah, after that, I was like... The girl I liked is dating my up. Like literally the only nigga I do not like Cause Like it's like, one of them youngest like 
He's one of them youngest. I think so he's all bad and all of that. But like, you, you slap him once, my guy's gonna go. Yeah, so. Ah, I feel violated, man. <laughs> the thing that I said that I think it, that, um, that I just remember this. So like, I was like, so like, it makes sense to like the guy. Like just left and the girl said left because when the nigga really wants to fight, no girl is gonna stop him. <laughs> what do you think? Like. They said the like, like when the nigga wants to fight, he's like, oh nah nah, I know him. They 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 they're surprised when they get dashed on the floor. Like, if the nigga's about to fight, doesn't like it doesn't it doesn't care who's around him. He's gonna fight. So yeah, that was it for today. Yeah, the story of how I found out uh, my crush was it in my up. Yeah, happy Valentine's. Valentine's is in two days. Yeah, most likely gonna post something uh, something Valentine's related on Insta. So if you haven't followed me on social media, it's gonna be on one of these three accounts. Or probably in the few of them, but yeah, so IBG out. So yeah, IBG out.